Hi, here's a spreadsheet that allows you to enter any complex multi-level bill of materials and return an interactive MRP grid. I'll do an example so we can see this in action. This is a numerical example found in a paper titled Optimal Lot Sizing Within MRP Theory. So here's their model. We see the parent item A takes two children items, B and C. B is a parent that has two children, D and E, and C is a parent that has a child E. So we'll enter that model into the spreadsheet. A, A, B, B, and C. Those are our parents. A has a child of B and C. B has children of D and E. And C has a child of E. Quantities, A takes two Bs, five Cs, B takes three Ds and four Es, and six takes, or sorry, C takes six Es. So that's how we enter the model from the paper into the spreadsheet. The next thing we can do is enter these items directly into the MRP grid. This is a little shortcut. So <clears throat> item A has a lead time of two weeks, according to the paper, according to their model. Item B has a lead time of three weeks, or three periods. And C has a lead time of five periods, tau equals five. So now we have the bill of materials entered into our model. We have the item data entered into the model. And now all we need to do is put in a forecast so we can see the plan in action. So we'll enter their forecast from the paper, which is two of item A at time 12, three units of item A at time 14, and four units of item B at time 13. So we'll enter that here, A and B, two, three, and four, and we get immediate results. And we can check that the results are correct by looking at the final results from the paper. And you can see all these numbers are exactly the same, and the exponents are also the same, uh, lining up to the same periods here. So in the paper, the, the number is the number of units for each item, and the number in the exponent is the time at which the order is due. So we know that there's an order of two A's and three A's due at time 12 and 14, because that was the forecast. And since A has a lead time of two, we know that those orders have to be released two weeks before they're due. Um, after that, when you look at the structure of the, of the paper's bill of materials, you can see that B, there's independent demand for B, but there's also dependent demand for B because it's a component of A. So B's requirements are four B's due at time uh, 10, six B's due at 12, and four B's due at thir time 13. So four 10, six at 12, four 13. And let's walk down the rest of them to just to make sure that we are uh, in absolute agreement. C, 10 units at times 10, 15 units at time 12. D, 12 units at time 7, 8 units, or sorry, 18 units at time 9, 12 units at time 10. And finally, E, 60 at time 5. 106 at time 7, 24 at time 
at time 9 and 16 at time 10. So we were able to do this in our spreadsheet with no Visual Basic code, no queries, no pivot tables, just the use of Office 365's filter function, which is the main engine behind this, this MRP spreadsheet. And what I like most about it is the ease at which you can create a model and immediately start playing with planning parameters. And we'll go in, I'll go into more of that in um, later videos. So for now, that was the introduction to the spreadsheet.